Welcome to Qingdao. Qingdao has been my home for four years now, and it's absolutely beautiful. I have made many amazing memories here. People always ask, why Qingdao? Well, let me show you. Qingdao is a coastal city in eastern Shandong province. It is the 15th largest city in China by population. <laughs> Qingdao is a city of beer and immense history and culture. The cobbled streets, German architecture, welcoming people and mesmerizing sunsets by the sea are all captivating. Let's not forget about the city's diverse food scene and the vast mountain ranges. Qingdao really does have it all. A vibrant city, yet a calming environment. Beaches to relax and mountains to admire the view. Modern malls alongside local stall vendors. Qingdao doesn't disappoint. There is even an amusement park for all you thrill seekers. In Qingdao, you can indulge in a variety of outdoor activities such as hiking, swimming, cycling along the shoreline, and strolling through local parks. I particularly enjoy hiking. There are several different mountains to hike, all with great views. The most famous is Laoshan Scenic Area, and it is easily accessible. There are cable cars if you don't wish to walk all the way. This is the best option for tourists as there are several peaks varying in difficulty and plenty of stores along the way. Fushan is a local mountain situated near the city centre. It is much smaller than Laoshan and convenient to hike if you are short on time. You can get to the top within two hours. I usually hike Fushan in the early morning to enjoy breakfast while watching the sun rise. Huangdao, West Coast Qingdao, also offers several hiking opportunities. Jushan is the most challenging hike despite its lack of popularity. There are no stores and it is quite difficult. You need to be well prepared when climbing this mountain. Ensure you have enough water and food supplies. The beauty of hiking this mountain is the chance to really connect with nature. It's quiet and great for recharging the soul. Swimming is a great option when living so close to the sea. The peak swimming months are June to October. Shilaoren is perhaps Qingdao's most impressive bathing beach. The bathing beach has a length of more than three kilometers and there are many tourist attractions. There are many other great beaches in Qingdao, so you should certainly take the time to check them out. Since moving to Qingdao, I have developed a love for cycling. There are loads of bike trails leading into the mountains and around the coast. Each bike route allows you to explore different parts of Qingdao. There is also a great active community, so you are bound to find people who like working out. Running is also hugely popular. There is a yearly marathon in Qingdao. If cycling or running are not your thing, you can walk by the sea or through the largest and oldest park in Qingdao. Zhongshan Park is popular during spring. People travel from all over China to see the cherry blossoms. Let's move on to look at some of Qingdao's famous landmarks. May 4th Square is located between the Municipal Government Building and Fushan Bay. It is a large red sculpture near the seaside. This landmark got its name in memory of China's historical May 4th movement, which started in Qingdao. 
This large public square is always busy and is a good place to do some souvenir shopping. Another famous location is Jiantiao Pier. This area is almost always busy but certainly is a must see. This pier is located at the southern shore of Qingdao. It is unique due to the octagonal pavilion at the end. This landmark is much appreciated by the locals and is on the Qingdao beer label. Now if that's not reason enough to visit, then I'm not sure what is. The view from either end of the pavilion is breathtaking. Just be prepared for crowds of people, vendors promoting boat rides and pictures, and locals selling souvenirs and bags of bread to feed the seagulls. If you are feeling peckish, you could always try some starfish. Within walking distance is the Old Town. The German Old Town is a great place to go. There are many roads to explore with tons of history. You are able to see cultural relics like churches and historic German architecture. St. Michael's Cathedral stands at the top of a hill in the centre of the old part of the city. The main entrance is centred on the south side of the building, facing Qingdao Bay. The two soaring towers are 56 metres high and each crowned by a cross. This is also a great place for a variety of different events. On the day we visited this area, there was a market with many stalls selling local goods. There was also an unbelievably cute but unusual shop which we discovered. Toy Park located under the lantern lit street has walls covered in fur, monster pencil holders, quirky keychains and even googly eyes. It certainly was a shop like no other. Qingdao is a place full of adventure and it is sure to have something for everyone. If you haven't visited Qingdao yet, I highly recommend you do.